here's our little science theme on birds that we did this week. So first of all, I went through my books and see if we had any interesting books about birds. This one was very cute. It's nice that there's little illustrations as well as a real photograph of the bird. And we looked on YouTube for some little bird spots. We found a few, especially about pets. Here's another book about birds. This is more, it's about a little boy and girl and their story. How they found out about birds. Just nice illustrations as well. I like it when it has a page like this. You see the different characteristics of each bird and their names. Then we also read a few stories about birds. See if you have any in your collection of books, for example, The Little Red Hen, Are You My Mother? This one was a fun one. It's about this little bird who looks for his mommy. He falls out of his nest one day while she's away getting food. It's cute. And Duck on a Bike. If you have this book, it's really nice with lots of colorful illustrations. It doesn't teach much about birds, but it's fun. And reading to your child is number one foundation of teaching them to read. So we went through that. Then we read a Bible story. I try to find a Bible illustration or story with anything that we talk about. And we read the story of creation, the day that um, he made the birds and, and the fish. And then here's another little one, Jesus teaches on a mountain. About, look at the birds, Jesus said. Do they store up food in a barn? No, God feeds them. And then you talk about how we're like little birdies. And Jesus doesn't let one fall to the ground without him knowing about it. Then we went to our whiteboard here and we talked about favorite birds. Adina's favorite bird is a goose. After we learned a few names of birds, they each picked their favorite, and of course, mommy and daddy's as well. This is our cursive practice, and we have here on our little bulletin board a poster about birds, which we also talked about and found out more about their different homes, how they build their nests, where they build their nests, different types of birds, so this was very interesting for them. And then our few little activities here on our trays. A little boy went through the movable alphabet to find the word bird. I just wrote up these quickly and printed out a few little pictures that I had. And my little girl matched the right ones. I had a few little animal birds from our animal set. And here's a little flannel. Um, activity we did. Uh, it's got little nests with different amounts of birds. So this was our little um, nest and at the same time practicing our numbers, our math for a little toddler. So what she had to do, here's our little bird's nest which I just found a basket from the kitchen and this is sawdust since I didn't have little branches and leaves but if you do that's a probably even better you go out in the garden and find some little branches and sticks and what she had to do she had to take her little fingers and dig in and find the numbers so here's number six so she counts all the birds in the nest so six and she puts it on top of the nest in this nest there's six little birdies that just hatched. We talked about birds that hatch and what that means. We talked about their eggs. Anyway, so, oops. And then she matches the little numerals to the right number of birds in the nest. Some of these are already some and then some I just had to add. There's four in there so I added one more to make five. So it's from one through six. And so we did that. I tried to involve some writing, some um, spelling and reading, and a little math in each activity. That way, if our theme is um, on birds, 
our school is all about birds as well, which adds loads of fun. And then we also made a little arts and crafts project, which I showed on another video. A little shape, just a very simple little shape. We cut a slit, we made an accordion fold, and we put it through the slit, put it together here, or you can keep it apart here like this. Made some little eyes. You can use bubble eyes if you have. That's even more fun. We made our little beaks. And there we have our little birdies. We put them in our nest, but you can also hang yours up with a little string. And you can learn the vocabulary words fly, or wings, any little words you want to add to your study. That's great. Teaching new vocabulary words and reading. So that was our little activity theme on birds.